Happy Friday, everyone. Do you remember these? These are number two pencils. These are those pencils that you had to have when you were going to take a test using a Scantron. And the reason why number two pencils were important is it indicated that it had the right kind of lead so that when you placed your answer down, it would be read by the Scantron machine. You know, it's got me thinking about our lives and the final exam that's coming on Judgment Day. There is going to be an answer that needs to be read and verified by the judge. And we have to make sure that we have that right answer. And Peter faced a similar kind of test in Acts chapter 4. He had healed a crippled man. Well, the teachers of the law were furious. They weren't happy with him. And they asked, what authority did you use in order to heal this crippled man? And Peter answers boldly with the right answer. The answer? Jesus. In fact, listen to what he says in Acts 4.12. He says, there's salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. In a sense, Jesus is kind of like this number two pencil. If we show up at the end of time and the end of our time and that judgment day and we show up with any other kind of answer than Jesus, it's not going to be verified by heaven. Jesus is the only name by which we can be saved. Believe in him, receive what he has given to you, and live in confidence today because you have the right answer in Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for living a life that meets all the requirements of God's law and the test of this life. We thank you that through your death and suffering and rising again, you are the right answer for the final exam of our lives on Judgment Day. We no longer face that day with fear and trembling, but instead, because of your salvation, we rest with gratitude and praise, for you are our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.